Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how India's nuclear missile arsenal forms a resilient triad of land, sea, and air-launched systems, revealing how long-range Agni variants, submarine-based K-series missiles, and versatile BrahMos cruise weapons together shape a credible and flexible nuclear deterrent. It begins with how India structures its missile arsenal. India's nuclear missile inventory represents one of the most structured deterrence frameworks in Asia. Rather than relying on a single delivery system, India maintains a spread of land-based, sea-based and cruise-capable nuclear missiles that form a complete strategic triad. Each missile has been designed to ensure that a retaliatory strike remains possible under any circumstance, which is the foundation of India's nuclear deterrence policy. Here is a list of the top six nuclear-capable missiles in India's defense arsenal. The first missile described is Agni-5, India's long-range strategic backbone. It is India's best-known long-range ballistic missile intended to strike targets at distances of around 5,000 kilometers or more. It is canister-launched, improving mobility and reducing preparation time. With its reach deep into continental space, it is often regarded as the cornerstone of India's long-range strategic capability. Next comes Agni, Prime, offering lighter, faster, highly precise, medium-range nuclear capability. It is also called Agni, P, is a new generation ballistic missile with an estimated range between 1,000 and 2,000 kilometers. It is lighter than previous missiles and can be launched on short notice from a canisterized system. It integrates composite propulsion, digital guidance, and reduced weight compared to earlier Agni variants. Once fully inducted, it is expected to replace older medium-range systems, giving India more precise and survivable nuclear delivery options. Moving ahead, Prithvi-2 ensures short-range nuclear retaliation during intense conflict scenarios. It is one of the earliest nuclear-capable short-range surface-to-surface ballistic missiles in the arsenal with a range of roughly 350 kilometers and a payload of up to 500 kilograms. While tactical in reach, it plays a strategic deterrent role by enabling nuclear retaliation even in short-range conflict scenarios. It is launched from road mobile platforms, supporting rapid relocation and concealment. Following that, K-15 Sagarika strengthens underwater second strike ability with survivable launches. It marked the beginning of India's underwater nuclear delivery capability. With an approximate range of around 750 to 1,500 kilometers, it is launched from ballistic missile submarines. It is a two-stage solid propellant missile, and its importance lies not in distance, but survivability. Submarines carrying K-15 ensure that a nuclear response remains possible even if land assets are targeted first. Further, the K-4 missile extends submarine reach for deep-sea strategic dominance. It is the next step in India's sea-based deterrent, extending the submarine launch range to around 3,500 kilometers. Its purpose is to keep Indian submarines farther from hostile coastlines while retaining credible strike reach. It is designed to carry both nuclear and conventional warheads. The combination of K-15 and K-4 gives India layered sea-based deterrence, a crucial feature of modern nuclear strategy. Finally, BrahMos cruise missile delivers pinpoint nuclear strikes from multiple flexible platforms. It is a nuclear-capable supersonic cruise missile system developed by India and Russia. It can be launched from various platforms, including land, sea, and air. Some variants of the BrahMos cruise missile are configured to deliver a nuclear payload. With a typical reach of up to 450 kilometers, depending on version, the missile offers high accuracy and low altitude penetration, complementing ballistic systems with a precision strike option. Its ability to launch from land, sea and air 
increases operational flexibility. Combined, these missiles form a nuclear structure focused on credible minimum deterrence rather than volume. Agni systems provide long-range land strikes. K-series missiles secure second strike capability from submarines and BrahMos adds accuracy and multi-platform delivery. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come.